The most the 1905 Danish Antilles stamps were issued by the former colony of Denmark, but today they are under the control of the United States of America. The 4 cent franc has the face value surrounded by a circle and laurel leaves, above the writing in Danish which translated means Danish islands of the West Indies, instead the 5 and 8 cent stamps, have the official coat of arms of the Kingdom of Denmark, or the three lions under the crown. Above the wording translated Danish Antilles, while below the face value, the wording post. Today, one of these pieces is worth $36. This 1955 Honduras stamp commemorates the 50th anniversary of the birth of the Rotary International Club, a club born in 1905, which today is present in all countries of the world with over 1 million registered members. Rotary conducts free, self-funded social activities aimed at promoting peace, supporting education, fighting poverty and many other activities. In the center you will see the symbol of the club, a wheel, in blue instead you will see the official flag of Honduras. With various writings on all sides of this stamp, with an original value of one cent, today it is worth $300 in the collector's market. The Costa Rica 1941 stamps commemorate the South American Football Championship, the 16th edition in which Argentina was the winner. The peculiarity of this stamp lies in the fact that the edition played in 1941 was an extraordinary competition, strongly desired by Chile, played to celebrate the fourth centenary of the foundation of Santiago the capital of Chile, by Pedro de Valdivia, Spanish conquistador. Costa Rica failed to qualify to play this edition, but issued these stamps with a very low circulation. Of various nominal values, the flags of the teams that have taken part in the championship are printed on the sides, you will notice in the background a football field with the Costa Rican flag in the center. Above the wording Republic of Costa Rica, under the image instead centimos or cents. Today, if you own a complete set in excellent condition, you are worth $320. The 1938 Spain stamps commemorate the popular militias created after the military coup in 1936, during the first months of the Spanish Civil War. In each of these stamps it is possible to see precisely the militias intent on fighting. At the top the wording Spanish Republic, under the image instead the wording translated homage to the People's Army militias is shown. Revolution that later merged into the event of World War II, some of these stamps are now worth a few hundred dollars today, but if you have the entire collection, you will have a value of $400. The 1939 Mexico postage stamp commemorates and depicts two important events that took place in Mexico. The first concerns the portrait of Francisco Sarabia that is depicted in this stamp, who died in 1939, was a very famous Mexican pilot, who reached the world speed record in flight from Mexico City to New York in just 10 hours and 43 minutes, in fact you can see the writing Vuela Mexico Nueva York on the right of his portrait. Underneath, on the other hand, the words Feria Universal de Nueva York or the Universal Exhibition that was held in New York in 1939, with the theme The World of Tomorrow, Projects and Scientific Discoveries for the Future. Today this is the most sought after and most valuable postage stamp in Central America, and is valued at $475. The 17-cent 1925 postage stamp depicts the 28th President of the United States of America, Wilson, in office for eight years from 1913 to 1921, winner of the Nobel Peace Prize in 1919 for leading the country and contributing to peace between leaders in the world after the First World War. Above the bust of him the words translated Post of the United States, on the sides instead, the Numeron 17, the face value of the stamp. Today this original and intact quatrain is worth $270. The two quatrains of 2 and 5 cents from 1928 depict the busts of two presidents, both linked to the issue of these two series of stamps. The occasion for this edition was the anniversary of the 150th birthday of the discovery of the Hawaiian Islands. Discovered in 1778 by the explorer James Cook, during the military campaign of the then chief of the Continental Army during the American War of Independence, and future first president, George Washington. This is why the two cent series depicts his face looking to the left, just below his name, and the two cent face value at the bottom on the sides. The five cent series instead depicts the future 32nd president of the USA, Roosevelt, who in 1928, the year of issue of this series of stamps, became the first Democratic candidate for the office of the state of New York, thanks to his important personality and charismatic. On both stamps you will see the bold writing Hawaii, 
and under the year of the anniversary of its discovery, 1778-1928. Today one of these quatrains is worth $280. The 50-cent stamp from 1933 depicts the airship Zeppelin in the center, an avant-garde vehicle capable of transporting goods and people. It had a rigid structure made of aluminum and externally covered with canvas. This means was also used extensively for the transport of correspondence, in fact Zeppelins were used for the delivery of correspondence on international flights. To the right and left of the airship you will notice two buildings, which indicate two different buildings of two different nationalities, reachable by this means. Above the text translated a century of progress and flight. Today this stamp is worth $330. This sheet of stamps by Hank Williams from 1990 depicts one of the most famous American songwriters, Williams who lived from 1923 to 1953 released 32 albums, becoming an icon of country music and rock and roll. In fact, you will notice in the center of him he plays his inseparable guitar, in the upper left the number 29, which does not indicate the nominal value, but the positioning of his albums in the top country music U.S. chart. Billboard, reached years after his death, in 1990. Today this intact sheet, made up of 40 identical stamps, is worth $350. The 50-cent stamp from 1916 to 1917 depicts Benjamin Franklin, an American scientist and politician. Many revolutions and scientific discoveries are due to him, he invented the lightning rod, the bifocal lenses, the rocking chair and many other inventions that are still in use today. In the center you will notice his face looking to the left, above the wording postage, on the lower sides, the two numbers 50, which indicate the face value of the piece. Today, this highly sought after stamp is worth $400. The couple of the eagle year 1938 depicts on the center the animal symbol of the United States of America or the eagle, you can see it in flight with olive branches and arrows that it holds under her claws. Above the image the word translated airmail, below the sides the face value of six cents dollars. Today this perfectly intact pair is worth one hundred ten dollars. The seven piece series of 1879 depicts on these stamps an identical image or a circle with a number inside that indicates the face value ranging from one to fifty US cents. These stamps were widely used for paying taxes and shipping one's correspondence and merchandise to the Federal Republic. Today this set is worth $140. This set of eight quatrains of 1931 stamps depict faces, landscapes and symbols of the United States of America. In the value of 11, 12, 13 and 17 cents you will see the faces of some presidents of the United States of America who ruled from the 1800s onwards. On the 14 cent stamp you will see the face of the Indian chief, a typical figure present in some areas of the Federation. In the 15 cent piece you will notice the imposing Statue of Liberty symbol of New York. In the quatrains of the landscapes instead you will see a ship that is going towards the Golden Gate, the longest suspension bridge in the world, while in the last quatrain you can see the landscape of the Niagara Waterfall where the water jumps exceed 50 meters in height. If you own this quatrain set you will be worth $200. The Quatrain of Alexander Hamilton year 1956 depicts the bust of the first secretary to the United States Treasury, considered one of the founding fathers who lived in the second half of the 1700s and fought strongly with the support of President Washington to strengthen federal power thanks to the creation of a national bank and a single monetary system. Today this $5 Quatrain is worth $220. The 1907 Jamestown Trio of Stamps depicts the history of the first permanent English settlement in the Americas in the 1600s. City located in Virginia to the east of the United States of America. On the one cent piece you will see the portrait of John Smith, a soldier and explorer who had a brief collaboration with the Native American Pocahontas, a woman chief of all the tribes near Jamestown, now famous in many film stories. The two cent stamp depicts the founding of the city of Jamestown in 1607. On the five-cent piece you can see the portrait of Pocahontas, an indigenous chief who married an English man, before moving to the UK he was the head of 30 tribes who they lived permanently in Virginia. Today this set of stamps is worth $230.